Hello, my name is Chanel Gabriel. I'm a poet, singer, and educator from Brooklyn, New York. And I was on the show Second Opinion about four years ago, um, talking about lupus, the chronic illness that I have been battling since 2004. And here is a clip of me talking about my path to that, my initial path to being diagnosed. And uh, yes, the fact that I was very much in denial at first. Uh, check it out. I always jokingly say when you when you're diagnosed with an, il an illness, you kind of go through the, the stages of grief. Uh huh. And so I went through my denial. Okay. I was like, oh, OK, I got this thing, but I'm going to keep doing me and um, mm -hmm. pretend it doesn't exist. And, and then what happened? Then I got sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I actually um, I had started an internship and I was just busy, busy, busy. And, you know, kind of remembering to take my medication sometimes, kind of forgetting. Okay. And um, just trying to pretend it wasn't there. And I ended up with pericarditis. Pericarditis is an inflammation of the lining of the sac around your heart. Mm -hmm. And that can really be serious. I thought it was a heart attack. I was like, I'm going to die. Oh, man, I remember. <laughs> wow, that was such a long time ago. My hair is definitely longer now. Um, but yes, my diagnosis uh, itself, I, I spent a lot of time in denial. And I know a lot of people that I've spoken to that have had, you know, illnesses have gone through that. But um, I always said my d diagnosis really helped me realize the importance of taking care of myself, the importance of balance and being a balanced person in my life. And, um, and not saying that it was a gift, but it definitely taught me a lot learning how to manage living with lupus. And yeah, sometimes you have to be selfish. Sometimes you have to say no to things. Sometimes you have to recognize that your worth is not equal to the things that you are doing for everyone else um, and take some breaths. So I definitely learned balance and balance plays a big role. But here's another clip um, of me talking about some other things that have helped me manage living with lupus. I've always been very active and in, um, in exercise, and I firmly believe that I feel best when I exercise. So I do. Um, I'm well enough that I can do running. Okay. Um, I do a lot of yoga, things that stretch, things that calm me. I also balance my diet. I, I started noticing that certain foods mm -hmm. um, irritate okay. me. Certain foods um, sit heavier in me okay. and are harder for me to digest. So I kind of went easier on my body that way. Yep. Well, funny enough, now I'm actually a vegetarian. <laughs> so since then, I've decided to, I kind of gave up meat and really a, a, a vegetable-tarian, uh, meaning I just eat a lot more vegetables and not just starches, which is uh, what some some um, some of my family that, uh, that are vegetarians do, um, but really trying to eat whole foods and things like that. I still do yoga, not running as much, but uh, definitely doing meditation, a lot of mindfulness, journaling, things like that, especially with, you know, the climate that we're in now. It's really helpful to just have spaces to decompress and to relax. And I know that for me, lupus, my lupus flares up when I'm stressed out. And that's been really helpful for me to, to kind of de-stress and to process things. So yeah, I'm on my yoga mat like daily now. <laughs> um, also, you know, other things that just, I guess, to give you an update on where I am still battling lupus, but it's been uh, and it's been up and down with everything that's going on in the world and how sometimes we internalize the world around us. But it's been really helpful uh, finding spaces for gratefulness, for mindfulness. Um, I'm definitely still trying to do what I can to work out. I'm taking breaks. That word balance is, is just going to always be there <laughs> in this whole process of me living with lupus. I'm, I'm just trying to keep, take care of myself, do the things that I love, including uh, writing, still doing poetry. I, I shared a poem there. I'm working on my next album. Um, I'm also the interim executive director at a youth nonprofit that does poetry and hip hop with young people all over the country. This mostly was mostly based in the city, but now we're all over the country because we're all virtual. So it's great. Um, that part is great. Um, so just giving young people the support and allowing them to see how poetry and hip hop, which helped me a lot, um, be able to express myself. How can young people be able to do the same thing? So um, with that, uh, I just want to say thank you so much much. I'm also an educator. I'm also uh, getting my master's in education as well. Yes, I'm still balancing. I'm still balancing. But uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Chanel Gabriel, or you can just 
go to chanelgabriel.com and see some of my work, see what I've been doing since four years ago. And also, of course, you have to make sure you follow Second Opinion on Facebook um, and on uh, all social media, on Facebook and YouTube. Yes, make sure you follow uh, Second Opinion and check out all the amazing work that they're still doing. Thank you so much. Thank you.